My name is Ardencia Foster, and I will be doing my analysis on Counterparts by James Joyce. Um, please excuse my camera. It looks a little dark and blurry. Try to um, do this with my cell phone, and I'm having a hard time transferring the file. So um, first, let me say that I chose this story because um, this is the only story that I feel like I have been able to understand um, thoroughly throughout this semester. A lot of the texts that we've read have been kind of difficult for me to have an understanding of what is exactly going on throughout the entire story. So I have um, three points that I want to discuss about this text. The first one is going to be the anger that we saw throughout the text. The second one is going to be the alcoholism that we saw in this text. And also, I want to talk about how both affected um, the main character's loved ones. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and dive right in. So in the beginning of the story, our author shows us exactly why our main character, Mr. Farrington, is so upset and so angry. Um, his work environment is not the best, the best um, work envi environment. And um, his boss is not a very nice person, uh, needless to say. So as we see at the beginning, we see where Mr. Uh, Allen is calling for Mr. Farrington to come into his office. Now, in this moment, we see the effects of the alcoholism on Mr. Farrington's life and how the um, alcoholism also ties into his anger. So because Mr. Farrington is having issues where he's going to have alcohol throughout the day and not completing his work and not doing everything that he needs to be doing as an employee, now he's having issues with Mr. Allen and those issues are um, forcing Mr. Allen or making him be not so nice to Mr. Farrington. And um, so the behavior that Mr. Allen is having towards Mr. Farrington is one of the sources of why Mr. Um, Farrington is so angry. Um, so we see how Mr. Farrington is going to have alcohol throughout the day. And when he comes back, he's unable to complete an assignment that he is supposed to have done by the end of the day. Now, because he has not completed his assignment, um, Mr. Allen has a big blow up with him um, in front of the rest of the employees in the office. Um, and because Mr. Farrington has had um, a few drinks, I believe that the text is showing us how the alcohol has um, encouraged Mr. Farrington to do something that he would not normally do, um, encouraged him to act outside of his normal behavior. So we're seeing how the alcoholism affected Mr. Farrington's job. Now he's lost his job and because he's lost his job, now this will affect his family members financially. Now he's unable to hold up his um, financial responsibilities for his family. So now we're seeing how the alcoholism is affecting his anger and how the anger and the alcoholism is affecting his family. So we see Mr. Farrington go throughout his day um, and he loses his job. He goes and he has more drinks. Um, he continues to talk about the story of what happened at work for that day uh, with friends, um, increasing his anger as he rethinks the whole day over and over and over. And then he goes home to an innocent child of his. His son is trying to make his day um good as best as he possibly can but because Mr. Farrington has so many I mean I'm sorry so much anger within him he's unable to see um this innocent child and he in turns take the anger out on him beating him 
for no good reason. Um, so this text showed us how anger, alcoholism affects um, our lives, our day-to-day -day decisions, and also how it affects our family members and our loved ones. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.